tonight we want to zero in on another aspect of this emergency legislation. It calls for transparency and accountability with DC's 911 center. Yeah, we've closely followed problems with DC's Office of Unified Communications. Our Casey Nolan is live from the Wilson building in downtown tonight to explain how this crime package hopes to address those issues. Casey. Yeah, you know, earlier today we learned that one of the city leaders who will be voting on new 911 legislation inside this building here is also one of the countless people in D.C. who has called 911 for help only to be put on hold. And can I, I just want to hug her again. <laughs> there have been some success stories this year at D.C.'s 911 call center. And today... My brother is absolutely doing fine. Complete with commendations for call takers and gratitude from the people they've helped. Can we verify the address? But DC's 911 center has also sent help to the wrong locations. Reports of one car into the water. Sometimes in tragic situations like this deadly car crash in the Anacostia River in April. And other times people call and can't get through. There's been increasing attention to difficulties that citizens have with calling 911. Including Council Chairman Phil Mendelson. Monday, he said he recently called 911 after witnessing a hit and run. And I was put on hold, hung up, called back, put on hold, hung up, called back, put on hold. And that should not be. The problems are not new. The Office of Unified Communication, which runs the 911 center, has for years come under criticism for understaffing and inadequate training. Tuesday, the D.C. Council is expected to consider emergency legislation that would require the OUC to make public its data on staffing shortages, how long it takes to answer a call, how long it takes to send help, errors in answering those calls, and the number of calls that are just dropped. You know, I used to have oversight over OUC, and it was a big deal to minimize um, anybody being on hold. And uh, I've heard reports of it, and then I experienced it, and uh, it's just unacceptable. Now, OUC did get a new director this year after the council pushed back against the mayor's first choice for the job, but they are still not satisfied with how things are going. The chairman says the hope with this legislation is that transparency will make it easier for city leaders to fix the problems with 911. Leslie? Yeah, when you call 911, every moment matters, especially when you need to get some help immediately. All right, thanks, Casey.